Fishing for kokanee on a warm spring day is months away, and Cabinet Gorge Hatchery is still buried under snow. But fish and game staff are counting down to summer. Cabinet Gorge is one of two designated hatcheries for Idaho Fish and Game's kokanee program. Right now, kokanee fry are being fed a highly regulated diet to coax them to grow to three inches by May. These kokanee fry are at the halfway point of a year-long process. It all starts in August, when coolers filled with early spawning kokanee eggs arrive from Deadwood Reservoir. After the eggs come in from Deadwood, we put them in the upwelling incubators. And when they get to the eyed egg stage, we take the eggs out of the jars and run them through an egg picking machine. The machine will sort the live eggs from the dead eggs. The egg sensor will sense a bad egg when the light doesn't go through it, and it releases a little bit of air, and it'll pop that egg out and into our dead egg side of the bucket. We usually get about 90% good eggs, 10% bad eggs. At that point, we take the, the good eggs and put them back into the incubators. After about another three weeks of development, the eggs will start hatching. As they hatch and develop and absorb the yolk sac, they will swim out of the incubators into these vats. At that point, they become what we call swim-up fry. When they swim up, then that's when we start feeding them. Not all kokanee eggs that start at Cabinet Gorge Hatchery are raised here. Upwards of three million eyed eggs are trucked 400 miles south to Idaho's other kokanee hatchery in Mackey. Those will come down probably in three shipments, uh, roughly a million at a time. So we'll drive up one day, load coolers early in the morning, come back, and then you put eggs away here. They will are incubated for a couple weeks, then they'll hatch. After about three weeks, they will absorb that yolk sac and be what we call the button-up stage and swim up fry. They will then be put into our hatch house rearing bats and we start feeding them lightly and we'll start moving them outside to production raceways like these about middle of February. Shifting kokanee production to Mackey Hatchery is all about water temperature. Water at the Mackey Hatchery is four degrees warmer than Cabinet Gorge. All fish are, are cold-blooded animals, so the colder the water, the less feed you can pour to them, the slower the growth rates are gonna be. So I have more latitude and can push fish a little faster down here if needed than they can at, at Cabinet Gorge Hatchery. Food is manipulated so that certain groups of fish grow to three inches by a target date for planting in specific waters around the state. Half of our fish leave in May, about half leave in June. So we have to know as they go out uh, which fish are destined for certain uh, lakes and reservoirs so that we can program their growth rates to make a three inch fish in May for one group, a three inch fish in June for another group. Kokanee grow quickly. Depending on the water temperature and food, these fingerlings will grow to 10 to 13 inch fish in a year. After another 12 months, the fish will be 14 to 17 inches and hopefully dangling on the end of a fishing line.